Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to your fourth grade virtual learning class. All right. I'm glad you guys are back and uh, I'm ready and excited to just help you this year through math and anything you need. All right. So <clears throat> sorry I couldn't make it to class today. Well, I had something very important to do. So I have I had to take my daughter to college. So I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, so Today, I know Ms. Rodriguez is going to present the class a little bit and show you this video. So, um, before we continue, one thing I'm going to talk about is um, about our expectations when you come to class, okay? I want you boys and girls to uh, always, you know, there's five important things that I have for you. Okay, first of all, of all well, we only have about 45 minutes to do a lesson, so... I really want you to be here on time. Try to make it on time, all right? Um, get dressed, all right? Get dressed. Don't be in pajamas, you know? Wash your face. Uh, put on a nice t-shirt, a polo, but get dressed, all right? You can uh, wear a nice t-shirt as long as nothing uh, negative is on the shirt, okay? Now, um, try not to eat during class. No, actually, no eating, all right? Because... Uh, you know, it's so you can hear me and I don't want to hear you guys talking and, you know, uh, with all your mouth full, okay? You wouldn't like to see me that, see me do that. Another thing, uh, well, one thing I can do, allow you to do is have some water, drink some water, but be very careful, okay? Because you have electronic devices in front of you and we, we don't want them to get wet. So, one thing I want you to do is um, maybe put it on the chair ne uh, uh, next to it or... Or on another table all right so you can drink water but just be very careful with it now I want you focused what I mean focus is try to find a nice spot in your in your house where it's nice and quiet all right um, don't go to the kitchen because there's a lot of noise or you know excuse me your mom or your somebody's cooking so it's gonna be hard for them to for you to hear so I really want you to be in a nice focused place okay and you're yourself too, all right? Uh, I don't need to be, maybe at first, maybe I might want, we want to learn from each other. And yes, show me a picture of your cat, your dog, but we don't need um, your dog right there next to your lesson all the time, all right? Another thing is listen, all right? Be listening and be ready to have questions, you know, because that's the best way to learn uh, is listening and just have questions. And um, remember, we don't know everything, so that's why we're still here teaching you in fourth grade. So, okay, so always be ready with questions and uh, just uh, those are our five rules. So, five rules right here. I wrote it down. All right, on time, dressed, no eating, uh, nice, nicely focused. All right, nice focus um, and listening. All right, remember. That's what, those are the most important things or our expectations for us through our Zoom, all right? Well, <clears throat> then again, okay? So today, we're going to go over something very simple because I need to get to know you and you need to get to know me. And just little things. Uh, first, we're going to start with something very simple, just little things. I'm going to tell you about me. Uh, again, my name is Mr. Rios. Well, actually, my first name is Francisco. My last name is Rios, all right? I've been teaching it uh, in, for about 17, 18 years, right around there, okay? So uh, I'm pretty sure I there's always something I can learn, but uh, there's a lot of things that I can help you, I can teach you because of all these years that I've taught. So there's a lot of ways to solve problems, so don't think there's only one way. I'm definitely going to teach you several ways, all right? And um, we're going to be be ready to learn, you know? Division, multiplication, subtraction, uh, fractions, uh, addition, place value, story problems, and all this other stuff, all this cool stuff that we do in math, all right? So <clears throat> don't don't ever be scared of asking questions, all right? So always be ready to learn and be ready to have a question so so I can help you. Now, <clears throat> so today we this, this today is going to be very simple. All right. Oh, and by the way, you only need pretty much a notebook, just one, 
for my class. And I think Ms. Rodriguez needs one, Ms. Portillo needs another one, and Ms. Long needs another one. So four notebooks, all right, four, four journals, and a pencil, anything to write with. Pencil preferably, just in case you make a mistake, you can erase, all right? So let's start the day today, all right? So we're going to be talking about um, math, and I want you to do a, uh, we're going to do a circle map, all right? But it's very simple. It's very, it's called a thinking map because it makes you think, it organizes ideas. So this is going to be very simple and it looks like, it looks like a big donut. Okay. All right. It looks like this. In the middle of the, of the, of the circle map, we can write a question or just a couple of words, what we're going to talk about. So, all right, we're going to do two circle maps today. So I'm going to go to my board and I want you to come with me. Come with me through the board. It's right here behind me. So here we go. All right. So we're going to start with our first circle map. And like I said, we I want to get to know you. And what do you think about math? That's the first thing I want to get to know you. So we're going to do a circle. And then make a bigger circle around it. All right. So now, <clears throat> I can write the question or um, or I can write a phrase, but I'm going to try to make a question here. All right. What do you think, what comes to your mind when somebody says math? You know, what, do, what comes to your mind, what comes to your mind? mind when you hear math okay that's the math okay all right so there's many things that come to your mind so some people get scared some people enjoy math some people love math some people are like yeah it's okay all right and it doesn't matter you don't have to love math because to be a good mathematician all right uh, or some of you might say, oh, this is the hardest thing ever. I hate math because it's so hard. Well, it could probably be hard, but don't think that everybody, people that are mathematicians were, you know, uh, born uh, knowing math. They had to be taught. So you're in that, in that age that you can learn a lot. So here we go. Let's be ready. What do you think when somebody says math? And it could be any word. All right. So we're going to do a couple examples and I'm going to let you fi finish the rest. Okay. So I'm going to do five. So the first one would be, for me, when somebody says math, math, all right, a lot of people think of this. And I'm going to write, write it as a bullet, money. Okay, that's a word. So you're going to fill out your thinking map. Some people say, oh, I think about money. When Some people say, oh, what? Uh, some people say, I like uh, to count. When you hear math, you count. All right, when you hear math, you say, ooh, I see addition, addition. When I see math, I see, ooh, a calculator. When I hear math, calculator. Or you can see the word math, okay? It doesn't really make a difference. So there's many things that come to your mind. Money, addition, calculator, count. Some people count. Some people might say, ooh, I... Now, some people, it reminds me of my dad. Maybe your, your dad took you somewhere. My dad. Where did your dad take you to? Or what does he do that has to do with math? Well, my dad works in a bank. Okay, you can even put it right here, bank. Or he works at a, you know, he works uh, at Walmart and they have those uh, uh, cash register registers and stuff like that. So anything that comes to your mind when they hear math. So I'm going to let you finish the rest. I want you to fill, put in 20. We have five, so I'm going to want you to do at least 15. 15 ideas. Okay, give me 15 ideas. That what does math mean? What does comes to your mind when you hear the word math? Okay, that's your first um, thinking math. Now, <clears throat> so be ready to do another one. All right. So you're going to do two thinking maps. The next one is, and you're also going to be 
giving me 20 ideas, but I'm going to we're gonna come up with five. All right? There's a lot of things that come to your mind when they hear math. Now, this is a different question. Now, this one says, what makes an, a, per, a person an amazing mathematician? And I'm just going to write the word um, amazing. Mathematician. Okay. What makes somebody amazing at math? What do they do that makes them amazing at math? All right. Some of you come from Mr. Cintron's class or from Ms. Carter's class or from Mr. Uh, Ms. Brown's class. And, you know, anybody, think about what makes them good at math. Or what makes you good at math? What made you get a hundred? Okay, when you were in third grade or when you were in second grade. What made you get a, a diploma that says, you know, math student of the week of the nine weeks or the year? Okay, think about a good mathematician. What do they do? Alright? So people might say, well, they they like math, they count a lot. They do count. Someone might say, ooh, they study. They study math. Okay? All right? So, counting is good. Studying is amazing. Now, some people might say, well, they count, they study. They also, um, what do they say? Another thing that they do, they count, they study. I'm thinking. I'm thinking out loud. Oh, I know some great mathematicians. They read. They like to read. Yeah. Because sometimes you read, you read the, the instructions, it gives you, you know, tells you how to do it. All right? So that's three three right there. Another one could be, oh, they listen. They listen. They count, they study, they listen. Oh, man. So there's, those are four that makes people good at math. Hmm. So there's so many more, and I'm gonna give you one more, and so uh, it might take you a little longer, but it's okay. So counting, studying, listen, read. Um, they uh, practice. You know, they practice problems. They practice all the time, so they can get really good at it. All right. So just because you do it once and you knew it doesn't mean it's always going to be the same. So no, that means that you practice different problems too. All right, and remember, not all amazing mathematicians were born amazing. They started learning, okay? They started from when they were little, all right? So one thing I want you to, to, to think of, okay? And if you, if you don't like math or if you, you know, just remember... Not everybody was born a mathematician. They had to practice it. So that's why I like the word practice and study and all that stuff. So, all right, this would be pretty much the two the Venn diagrams I want you to fill in. All right. And I want you to also do give me 15 ideas. All right. So now if you have any questions, uh, just uh, have them for Tuesday. All right. I'll, I'll be back by Tuesday. All right. Uh, so sorry I couldn't make it today and uh, you know I'm excited to go back and meeting you meeting you on Tuesday come you know so um, be ready to learn okay boys and girls and well um, thank you Miss Rodriguez for putting the lessons for me all right and see you on Tuesday take care boys and girls bye-bye